King Charles turned 74 on November 14th. It's his first birthday as king and the first one without his mother, Queen Elizabeth. So how did the royals celebrate the big day? Number one, a low key birthday. King Charles opted for a quiet birthday this year. No parties or any formal celebrations. This decision could have something to do with the recent passing of Queen Elizabeth. It's an interesting predicament. On one hand, the royals probably want to honor their new monarch and his birthday. On the other hand, they're still mourning the recent loss of their longtime queen. Another factor? This year, Charles' birthday was the day after Remembrance Sunday, one of the most somber days on the royal calendar. Charles marked the occasion by laying a wreath at the Cenotaph at Whitehall. Queen Elizabeth considered this one of the most important duties of the year. It makes sense that the king would play it safe and pass on a birthday party this year. Number two, the birthday photo. On the day of his birthday, the royals released a new photograph of King Charles, honoring his new role as Ranger of Windsor Great Park. The picture shows the king leaning on an ancient oak tree with a cane. Becoming a ranger is a big deal for Charles, who's always been vocal about his love for the environment and nature. The role used to belong to his late father, Prince Philip, who served as a ranger for 70 years. The ranger will offer insight and guidance to the deputy ranger and his team on day-to-day -day upkeep of England's oldest estates. It's been a tradition since 1559. Number three, social media shout outs. Prince William and Princess Kate publicly posted birthday greetings and shared a photo of a happy looking Charles on their official Twitter account. They wrote, wishing a very happy birthday to his majesty the king. Very sweet. Number four, snubbed? King Charles's other son, Harry, did not publicly wish his father a happy birthday. To be fair, Harry and Meghan quit Facebook last year and haven't posted on their Instagram since 2020. But some royal fans think the couple could have honored the king on their Archwell website, which was updated as recently as the day before Charles's birthday. This so-called snub isn't exactly a surprise after all the recent Meghan and Harry drama. In September, it was reported that Meghan requested a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Charles to bury the hatchet, but it doesn't appear that the fighting family members made any amends. Number five, changing of the guard. Even though his birthday was low key, Charles was honored with a very special changing of the guard. This is a daily ceremony in which the Buckingham Palace soldiers end their shift and are replaced by a new batch of soldiers. Lots of choreography and very formal. On Monday, the band and the household cavalry lightened up at the 11 a.m. ceremony by performing Happy Birthday for Charles. Number six, other tributes. Salutes were also fired all across London in honor of the King's birthday. The King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery fired 41 volleys from midday at London's Green Park. After that, another band performed Happy Birthday in the park. An hour later, the Honorable Artillery Company fired a salute for the King at the Tower of London. Number seven, past birthdays. King Charles hasn't always kept his birthdays low key. For his 21st birthday, the now king was formally honored with the Prince of Wales title. His 40th was celebrated with 100 underprivileged children who were helped by the Prince's Trust charity. But his 50th birthday made the biggest splash. The Black Tie Gala throne for Charles in 1998 doubled as a coming out party for his relationship with Camilla. She acted as the party hostess of the affair. That same year, he was honored with a special tribute at London's Lyceum Theatre. Spice Girl star Jerry Hallowell actually sang happy birthday to him in classic Marilyn Monroe fashion. Charles's last big birthday bash was his 70th in 2018. Queen Elizabeth invited royals from all over Europe and Charles celebrated with William, Kate, and Meghan and Harry. Number eight, two birthdays? The queen celebrated her birthday twice a year. Her real birthday was April 21st, but the big celebration happened in June with the Drooping of the Color birthday parade. This also coincided with the anniversary of her coronation. This is part of the royal tradition that says if the monarch's actual birthday falls during a season with bad weather, it will be moved to June which is better for a big public gathering. Charles's birthday being in November means he got a bad weather birthday, but he's also said he wants to cut down on royal spending. Will King Charles follow in his mother's footsteps or skip this expensive tradition? Only time will tell. Number nine, spending time with Camilla. Instead of a big party, Charles celebrated his birthday privately with his wife, Queen Consort Camilla. Can you blame him? It's been a busy year for both royals who celebrated the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June and mourned the loss of the longtime monarch in September. The two needed a night in. Number 10, getting older. King Charles has hinted that he isn't hung up on getting older. 
Last month, he was asked how old he was by a curious child. I wonder if his lighthearted approach to aging will extend to next year when he turns 75. Do you think Charles will make up for his low-key birthday by going all out for his upcoming coronation? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Things Celebrity for more on your favorite celebs.